Hello guys, welcome back to this channel and it's always a pleasure to have you. Today we are going to talk about the Grid Layout Manager. In the previous video, I talked about layout managers in general. I gave you the definition and how to set a layout manager for a frame, for a panel. And uh, in today's video, we will talk about the first layout manager, which is the Grid Layout Manager. So that's it. I'm going to remove some uh, code here. So let me remove this one. So as you know, these lines of code that I have remaining on the screen here are going to be used for creating the frame. So we are going to use the Grid Layout Manager in this particular video. The Grid Layout Manager, one of its particularity is that it places the components in a grid of equal sized cells. So that means that each component will occupy all of the available space within the cell. Okay, so that's it. The particularity, or if you want a definition of, of what the grid layout manager does on a container when it is applied to a container. So let's say that on this particular frame, we want to set uh, a grid layout manager. So we will simply say frame that set layout. And in the brackets, we will say new grid layout. So this is going to be used to set the layout manager to our frame. All right. So now to make sure that this particular layout is taking effect, we are going to add some components. So we will add buttons. So we say J button VTN. So we say VTN1, call new J button like this. So I will copy and paste. Okay. So here I will say VTN2, VTN3, BTN4 and BTN5. So now the next thing we will do is to add these buttons to the frame. So we'll say frame that add BTN1 like this. So I'll copy and paste. I will edit these lines of code. I'll say BTN2, BTN3, 4, and 5 here. All right. So now when I run my code, you can see that I'm having uh five buttons in the frame and like i was saying each button component is occupying all the available space within the cell and i also say that the grid layout places the component in a grid of equal sized cells so each button component here is having a cell and all these cells are having equal size. Okay, so that's the particularity of the grid layout. All right, so as you could see, these lines of code that I have written here will cause the components to show on a single row, okay? But with the grid layout manager, we can specify the number of rows and the number of columns. Like if you want to have rows and columns and you know want to place your various um, components in certain rows and columns, you can determine that. So how do you specify the number of rows and the number of columns in Grid Layout Manager? So you come here where you set your layout manager and inside the brackets of the Grid Layout. So in the constructor, you can specify the number of, of rows and the number of columns. So the first parameter is going to refer to the number of rows and the second parameter will refer to the number of column so let me say three and two here so now when you run now you can see we are having our five buttons and we are having two columns and three rows so what happens is that when you add a button or a component to the frame what the grid layout does that is going to add it on the first row, the first cell of the row. Then the next component that will be added will be on the next cell of the first row, okay? So if that is the last cell, this will mean that the next component that will be added will be added on the next row. So that's basically what it does. Let me show you, I will add some text here. I'll say button one, then here I'll say button two, here I'll say button three and then button four and then button five or if you want i can even add fifth button so i'll simply copy this paste it here i'll say button six and the text button six i would add another portion of code here i'll say button six now here there's a typo mistake i'll say button six like that. now when i run so you can see what i was explaining so when you add to the frame, so the first component to be added to the frame will be added on the first row, on the first uh, columns. And if you add 
the next button will be added on the second column and the third button is going to be added on the second row but the first column so to better understand that we are going to say that we want to have um, two rows and then three columns like this what this will happen is that when you run now you can see button one button two button because we are having our columns so the grid layout manager is going to place the components on the first row first and then it's going to make sure that all the columns are occupied before moving to the second row and make sure that all the columns on that second row are occupied by your component so that's basically how this is done but this is pretty much useful when for example if you have a form you want to display a form on your frame it's really important and useful to use a grid layout because you can place your components on uh, rows and columns I will, I will simply take an example here i will create some components j label component first i'll say j label label i'll say new j label name so that's for the j label i will also create a text field so i'll say j text field so here we want to create a form for example so j text field i will say text field is equal to new j text field so i need to import the text field class i will create another label i will call this label 2 and the text will be first name and I'm going to create another text field. I'll call this text field. And I can also choose to add a button. So I'll say J button, BTN, new J button, like this. Uh, let us also add another label, okay? So label three, and I'll say comma. Or I can say email here, okay? I want to keep it simple. I will add another text field. I'll say text field three. And I'll add some, set some text to the button. I'll say send. All right, let me first of all remove the columns and the row from the grid layout constructor. Now when I run, okay, nothing is showing because we have not yet added the components. So I'm going to say we're going to add the components to the frame. So frame that add label. Now I'll simply copy and paste. I'll say label two, label three, text field text field two and text field three and down here we will say button btn so that's the button now if i come and run okay so you can see so we are having uh, the name the first name email these are the labels and we have the text fields and then the button this is when we don't specify the columns and all of that okay so what it does is that the first component to be added will be placed on the, on the left. The second component to be added will be placed uh, next to that. And then the next component, and then the next, and then the next, and then the next. And then the last one will be here because the last one we added with is the button send. So what if we want to create a form and we want to say, okay, we want to have a form that we have four rows. So we will say four here. And then how many columns? We want two columns, okay? We want to create a form where we have a label and next to the label we will have our text field. And at the end of the form, we will have a button. Now, if we run this, what will show? Now you can see how this is shown. We have in a name, our first name, our email. Okay, so this is placing the components in a consecutive manner, the way we place them when we added them. Okay, name, first name. You can see here that we added label one and uh, the next item we added was label two. So that's why the name is placed just after the first name. Okay, so what if we wanna add the text field beside the name here, what should we do? All right, we have to simply copy this. We copy that, uh, sorry, and place it here. Okay, we will copy text field two, paste it here, and then text field three, we copy it and paste it here. Okay, so now when we run, now you can see name, all right, and uh, the button is here. Okay, and so now you can see the name, you can see the input uh, field, first name, another input field, email, another input field, and then here we are having our button. So all this thanks to the columns and the rows we define. We can also add some horizontal and vertical gaps or margins between the components. So how do we do that? So here, for example, 
if you want to add some 10 pixels horizontal or and vertical margin what should we do we're going to add some parameters here so the third parameter we're going to add here is going to be referring to the horizontal margin and then the fourth parameter is going to refer to the vertical margin i will also say 10. now if we come and run now you can see that we're having some margin between our various elements let's let me say that i want to increase the vertical margin for example say 100. when you run you can see that we're having some vertical margin here so that's uh, how you can add some vertical margin and um, horizontal margin to your grid layout manager so now what if we wanted to apply the grid layout to a panel for example and then we wanted to add all these components to that particular panel what should we do okay it's very simple all we have to do is to declare a panel so we say j panel uh, we'll call that panel new j panel and then semicolon so that's it on how you can declare your panel we can we as we said we want to set the, the layout manager for this particular panel to a grid layout so we will say panel that set layout new grid layout okay and as we said we want to add all these components the j label the text field and the button to our panel so here we will say panel we will remove frame and then say panel 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 okay this will be panel as well panel and then panel all right so if you run nothing will show on the screen because we have not added the panel to our frame so we have to add the panel to the frame so we will say frame not add panel so the panel will be the element added on the frame and then the other components will be added on the panel so now when we run we can see our panel containing the various components so on the panel we have not set any uh, column or row we have to do that so we will say grid layout column and row like this when we run what will happen now you can see what has happened on our panel okay so on the panel we can also set the size of a particular panel so we will say panel that set size and uh, we will say that it's going to be 100 for the width and 100 for the height now when we run nothing has happened because we are still using the grid layout on our frame okay as you can see the frame we set the layout to grid layout still here so what we're going to do is to actually comment this and use the default one and see what will happen so when we use the default this is how our panel uh, is showing on the screen we will say that now we want to the frame layout will be null like this and uh, so instead of saying panel size we will set the bounds set bounds so that will be 25 25 and then the width 100 100 and see how this is gonna look on screen okay now you can see how it's looking like on our screen we will say no we want um the width to be 200 and how to be 200 as well okay so now this is how the form is looking like what if we we add some uh, margin horizontal margin and uh, vertical margin so we will say 10 pixels 10 pixels here and run so this is how it's looking like this is just a simple form we have created and uh, we can say no we want to place that at the middle okay so 100 for y coordinate let me say 200 instead 150 okay so that's it so if i want to add maybe just a little bit of uh, text so i would say j label i'll call this title new j label say sign up form and i want to add this to the frame so i will simply come here before the line of code where i added the panel i will say frame that add title okay and then because the frame has a layout of null so that means that i need to set the bounds for this particular title so i'll say title that set bounds and uh, so that will be 250 50 for coordinate one for the for the width 300 and then 50 pixels now let me run okay so now you can see sign up form i can say 100 here or let me say 80 okay if i want to add some more properties i can uh, maybe change the font style so i'll say title 
cette fonte, new font, console as, assez font bold, I want it to be bold, another font size, let's say 24. Now when you run, so you can see how this is appearing, sign up form, and then down here I have a small form. I can change the font family. Let me simply say Arial. And I can uh, change the color of the text, say set for a ground color that blue. Okay, so this is the color of the text. I can also change the background color of my button. So I will simply say btn that set background color that blue. Then when I run, you can see the color of the button is now blue. So after doing that, you could see that the text of the button is black, so it's not really showing well. I can choose to set the color of that particular text to white. Okay, so I'll set, set foreground color that white. And then when I run, the button is now white. All right. So that's how you can actually play around uh, the grid layout. You know, we have just created a simple form with label and text field and, you know, all the various properties that you can actually manipulate on the components and the panel and all of that. So that was it concerning the grid layout manager and how you can uh, set it to a frame or to a panel and uh, manipulate elements, your know, GUI components on them. And I hope this video was informative and let's meet in the, the next one. And don't forget to like, to share, to comment if you have any suggestion, any question, and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this one.